Uh, local leaders gather today under the Gold Dome to honor the victims of the Orlando shootings. Caitlin Ross joins us with more on the meaning behind today's musical tribute. People at the concert said they wanted to use love to fight hate, but also to start a conversation about compassion in the wake of the Orlando massacre. Terrorism, gun violence, it doesn't matter where it is, homophobia have no place in our society today. State Representative Carla Denner says she was horrified by the lack of compassion as the Orlando nightclub massacre unfolded. As an openly gay woman, she says the LGBT community needs everyone's support. As the story unfolded, their opinions changed. They doubted for a moment that there was something that was okay about this being in a gay bar. She says if people were somehow relieved or less upset because the shooting happened at a gay bar, the conversation needs to change. This is an important point for all of us to stop and ask ourselves that question. U.S. Representative Hank Johnson says the national dialogue in our country has become too hateful. The polarization has been so pronounced here in America. A strong advocate of gun control, Johnson says everyone should stand up for what they believe in. Fight for what's right. And to fight hate with love. Love triumphs hate. Love triumphs hate. Does it matter who you love? Love triumphs hate. The men's and women's choir are performing this weekend in Atlanta, and they're donating all of the proceeds to the relief fund set up for the Orlando victims.